everyone, it's Julia. I am back with a couple of uh, upcycles today. I'm going to be doing, um, adding some trim to both of these pieces. The first one is this, it's like a sweater. It's a knit jacket. I, it's different. It has a full zip down the, down the front and it has these cape-like sleeves and then this white and gray overall print. I'm gonna be adding, like I mentioned, trim. And I got this trim from someone, um, just sent it to me. Um, thank you so much who, who sent it. I absolutely love it. It's, I've seen this before just in the store and on a roll, but I never thought of turning it into these really cute little rosettes and it has little leaves on it. Um, I think they're crocheted. I don't crochet and it is something I wanna try to do. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna put that down the front and then this flat part that hasn't been um, crocheted, I'm gonna just trim out the bottom of the sleeves with it. I'm at my sewing machine now and I have clear thread on, so you won't be able to see the thread at all through um, when I'm stitching here, but I'm using my free motion foot and this is a darning foot. I like using this foot when I'm sewing this bulky stuff because it adjusts to the height, whatever height I'm working on. And you can see me just going down there, um, trying to flatten these rosettes out as I'm sewing them and kind of having to shove it underneath a little bit because it is quite bulky. And then onto the sleeve. Now this is really easy because it is flat and I'm just going over it with this meander stitch, it's kind of like almost like a zigzag stitch. I still have that clear colored thread on. And in the bob, bobbin, th I, I have a bobbin thread. Bobbin thread's a little bit lighter than an all purpose thread. It works really well when you're doing decorative stitching. And this is what it looks like. I love it. You can tell that the two sides don't quite match, but it was really difficult to do that because they, those little rosettes were at different, different um, lengths or widths. And here's a couple pictures at the end. Um, I really like it open like this. I think this would be so fun with just a really bright colored um, shirt underneath it. And then onto the second piece, I'm gonna be upcycling these um, jeans. I already started my design there. I wanted to make a mention, I save all my little scraps that have heat and bond on the back of them. I save them by color. So I just dug in my green colors and I'm cutting out these shapes. I cut out those stems and then I'm cutting out these leaves. And these flowers too came in this same little package of goodness and they too are crocheted and it's just crocheted ribbon. Absolutely love the way they look. I tore this little hole in these jeans and I'm sticking that piece of fabric underneath. And I also want to add that piece of fabric to the back. So you'll see what I'm going to do here. I'm, I'm going to cut, I'm not going to completely cut this pocket off, but I just down a little bit and turn that flap over. I'm going to be fiddling here for a little bit. I couldn't quite decide what I wanted to do with this piece. I knew I, knew I wanted to add a little bit to the back. Um, so I'm just folding it in different ways and I didn't like any of it. And so I decided to um, just scrap that idea and, and take a little bit of heat and bond light and iron it to the back. It's hard to see, but this fabric has these really cute little butterflies. And I thought, well, I'm just gonna stick a little butterfly. And then I decided, no, I have to cut around that butterfly so you can really see it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna take that paper backing off and just press that into place. At my sewing machine again, and I'm gonna use that clear thread again. Um, I'll link that down below for you if you, anybody's interested. Um, it's, it's, it's a really soft lingerie thread, so it's not scratchy. I know some clear threads are, are, are scratchy, but this is not. I unpin those flowers because I just thought it's gonna, they're gonna get in the way for what I'm doing here. Um, so I took those off and again, I have my clear colored thread on and I am just outlining these. And then I'm gonna fill in a little bit. I just wanna meander stitch all the way around these, outlining the leaves and then filling in. I have a couple different colors of 
of green fabric for those stems. So I want to make sure I catch all that in. And then for the flower, again, I have my clear thread on and I'm just catching the edge of it. It's kind of shoving it underneath to make sure that I'm um, that it's under there. And then having to stop once in a while and just um, press or, or, or flatten that flower out. You can see me kind of doing, doing it there just to make sure it doesn't bulk up on me. Now notice what I did. I completely put this pants leg underneath the sewing machine, underneath my open arm. Um, and then since I'm free motion stitching, I can go sideways or up and down. I have that green thread on now and I'm just opening up that little tear that I made. And I'm just gonna do really um, parallel stitches quite close together. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just catching all the, those little flaps. This just really added a, just a neat technique. Just making sure I'm keeping those little flaps open until my sewing machine gets over, over the top. And then going back up again, just to really reinforce it and just so those stitches really show. And this is why this is called a darning foot because this is how you darn jeans if you need to um, get in a pants leg. For that back now, for this little butterfly, I'm just going to outline it and then I'm going to add some of the stitches inside the little butterfly. Again, I have my green thread on. Doing some little doodling with it. And now I'm gonna change my foot. I'm gonna just take my um, free motion foot off and just put my regular foot on and then I'm gonna add some decorative stitching to this pocket. And I'm gonna use that same colored thread. So this is like a uh, multi-colored green thread. And this is one of my favorite um, decorative stitches. It, it has a cross, just like a, a cross stitch look. And you'll see it here when I get going. And this is just going to hold that flap into place. There you can see it. And then I'm going to also do the top part of this flap just to keep it down. I do have some pictures at the end here, um, so it give you, gives you a, a close-up of what these jeans look like. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was It's really so fun to, to just to get, a, I don't know, like a, a new trim or something and then just to try to figure out what to use it for and just to be creative. I hope you have a chance to be creative this week. Bye for now.